In 1980, Amstel Light was a leader in the light beer category. But soon, other light beers came along with big money and a frat guy image. Amstel Light became the underdog. The Boston Bruins also used to be leaders, but since they won the Stanley Cup in 1972, the cheers had fallen silent. In June 2011, the Boston Bruins finally ended their 39-year drought in the Stanley Cup Finals. Boston went crazy and no one partied harder than the Bruins themselves. After a wild night out, the team ran up an epic $156,000 bar tab. When the Bruins' receipt leaked, the internet and the media picked up on the controversy. Scores of cocktails, hundreds of beers, a $100,000 bottle of champagne. But near the bottom of the receipt, one order stood out, a single Amstel Light. $6 beer, though, is making bigger headlines than the rest of the $156,000 total. The world had to know. This was Amstel Light's moment to join a trending conversation. With no budget and a ton of determination, Amstel Light issued a challenge for the humble Bruin with the sophisticated taste to reveal himself. The challenge was ceded to the most influential social media voices in American sports, and the news spread like wildfire. Should this mystery drinker with refined taste come forward? Public speculation surrounded the conversation, and imposters even began to claim responsibility for the beer. For six days and five nights, the conversation was about Amstel Light. Amstel Light says it will give the player who confesses to ordering the drink free beer for his day with the Stanley Cup. By the time Bruin Johnny Boychuk came forward, Amstel Light had stolen the conversation and built its social relevance, contributing to a nine-point jump in communications awareness. Like the Bruins, Amstel Light found its way back to the winner's circle.